Hello there. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about um, uh, Pakistani culture, uh, how women and men are seen uh, differently, how they are um, treated differently. So, um, uh, in 2019, uh, I got uh, acceptance for um, a summer school which was taking place in Poland, in the capital of Poland, which is Warsaw. So I had to apply for uh, the visa. Uh, and uh, it was such a long process and it was it was kind of annoying because um, in Pakistan, um, the process is quite tricky. Uh, you have to um, you have to book the online appointment with the embassy, and then they will um, let you follow the process. And that online reservation thing was so tricky. Um, first of all, there were the the dates were not visible on it. If you um, uh, do it online so you will see that until um, this 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 date of next month you do not there's no slot and there's no empty slot and um, there are uh, some hours uh, of the day when they op open uh, when they open uh, the option of um, you know uh, when you can apply for the appointment and how would someone know that uh, now they have opened the hours to apply for it so i kept on working on this thing uh while living in islamabad islamabad is the capital of pakistan uh, but i did not get any um right direction i talked to some um, uh, agents travel agents and everybody just wanted to have money and they were like yeah you pay us this much and then we will help you but we are not we are not guaranteed that you will get the appointment and i'm like how come because i'm, a, I'm at that time i didn't even have a job and i had to uh, bear the travel expenses uh, on my own the visa fee and everything and i was living with uh, some friends one day um the my my friend muska with whom i was living her father told me to uh, go to the um, uh, go to the the embassy and there you can find uh, the polish uh, consulate uh, i said all right i will do that so this whole process took around a month or more than a month so one day i received a call of my aunt and uh, she talked to me and she asked me how things are going and i told her yeah it's it's hard it's difficult and of course i was living uh, uh with the family of my friend so things were difficult you know that was not my own home and they were treating me like a guest and i was eating with them and they they just let me live with them they also didn't have many rooms but i was very generous and kind of them that, that they let me stay there now it's it's very warm weather and i am all frustrated i am i am there on my own and i am using uber to go to the embassy come back and do other things i'm just you know um having all these problems i'm just thinking about it because i got this um sponsored uh summer school uh so uh the it was funded by uh unesco um the 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 polish representatives of unesco were funding it so my brain was like if i do not get visa i won't be able to uh, go for this um, summer school so and one day my uh, aunt uh, calls me and she asked me how things are going and blah blah and then she's like kinza you have left your mother in Koita alone and you were doing your own things there in Islamabad and you are having a good time there and you are not concerned about your mother and you are not coming back and you have left her alone that is so bad of you 
I took a moment to comprehend what she was trying to say. And then I'm like, aunt, this is so unfair to a woman. If a man leaves uh, his hometown, leaves his house uh, for the sake of education or um, scholarship or any other workshop or anything, he is so much um, honored. Uh, you know, we say that, oh, he is giving sacrifice and he has left his home and such a good boy and he is doing so much to pursue his education. But when it comes to a woman, things become completely opposite. Then we say, oh, she is such a selfish woman. She has left her home. She, because it's a, the, um, uh, you know, it's... Um, they include religion in it as well they include um, culture in it and then they are like okay you are not a good person you are not a good girl because you are you're just living in another city and you are having fun time good time and you are not uh, concerned about your family they just shut their brain to understand that you can also have love and passion for education and you and struggle for it so it's 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 a no no for, i'm talking about the majority i'm not saying that 100 percent of the population thinks like that but this is the mindset of majority and it ha it has happened to me it has happened to me so many times when i come to america for my education so i was not talking to uh, that aunt for some time and then one day my mother said she is very upset she wants to talk to you I said, all right, I will talk to her. And I um, started having conversation with her. And then again, after some time, she said, you know what, Kinza, you have left your mother and you are living so far away. And this is so bad and blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm not having fun here. I am here for a PhD. So uh, I, um, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's unfortunate and it's very saddening that the struggle and hard work of a woman is not acknowledged is not credited the way the hard work and struggle of a man is credited so um it's it, it shows how how discriminatory our society is and how differently they treat men and women and it i being a woman feel really bad about it because I being a woman, I am putting more into my, you know, the, I have to do more of that struggle because, you know, men out there, uh, they, the, the woman faces more harassment than a man and woman has to cover herself and it's warm there and it's, there, there are so many issues. So she has to take care of the culture. She has to take care of the society, the way they are living. And at the same time, because society do not think a woman who is leaving her house for education or for job, she is not. Mm, so she has to face that negativity as well. And the, at the end of the day, a woman who is out there struggling, she is a bad woman. So uh, most of the women have gone through this discriminatory behavior, uh, which is very unfortunate. And um, yeah, these are my own experiences. So it's really bad, but it exists.